Hi everybody, here is the instructions on how to do the 3D cube illusion. You can see my example here, so check it out. It's going to look like um, a 3D cube staircase, and yes, of course, you can use some clip art or even some gifs to make it look really super cool. So let me take a look at the instructions with you, and then I'll walk you through the steps. So first thing in the instruction says is you're going to select the cube on slide number three, and you use Control-D to copy that cube template over and over again until you fill up the page. All right, so let's take a look at how we're going to do this. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to change the colors of your cube. So I'm going to click on the left side. You can use the bucket fill tool. I'm going to choose the lighter color for the left side. So I'm going to use red. So I'm going to use pink for the left side. For the top, I'm going to use red. And for the right side, I'm going to use the shade or the darker color. Now, check this out. I want to make sure I'm using the arrow tool right up here in our toolbar. I'm going to over to the side of my cube, I'm going to hold down my trackpad or my mouse. I'm going to select around that cube. And it's going to surround it in a blue select box. Once I have that set up, I'm going to use the function control. That's CTRL on your keyboard and then D. And that's going to completely copy that cube exactly like how you have it. Now, watch how I do this. While my cursor is crosshairs over that cube, I'm going to just very carefully drag that cube on over and I'm going to position it so that it's going to be right up next to the first one. Now you want to make sure that your arrows here, see how they're right over the top of the cube? They are still arrows. I'm going to click and drag. I can even use my keyboard to move my cube around just by using the arrow keys. Alrighty, and so I can get it into place. So here I go again. I'm going to hit Control D, and same thing. I'm just going to move my boxes around, make sure they're all lined up, one right up next to each other, until I get all the way across the side of my page. So here I'm going to do this really quickly. I'm going to do one at a time. Try not to click off the side of your cube so that you don't have to, you know, worry about grabbing the separate pieces of it. And hey, if you make a mistake, don't forget up here in your toolbar next to the plus sign, you've got your undo and redo button. So don't hesitate to undo or redo in case you make a little bit of an error in placement. Maybe you clicked off the side. Watch this. So maybe I'll show you what will happen if I make a mistake. So here, I made a mistake, I clicked off the side, and now I can't just move my whole entire cube over. So if I use my arrow signs over here, up in my toolbar, and undo it back, I can get it right back to where I still have that blue select bar, and I can go ahead and slide into place. Now, don't worry, if you have parts of cubes hanging off of your slide, that's just fine because it's not going to show on the finished slide or especially when you're going to print this. It won't show it on the printed piece, but it will get that little piece of cube so that it looks like it's totally finished. Now, I'm going to control D this again and I'm going to move it down to the second row. And right now I'm just using my arrow keys to move that cube into place. And look how I fit it in. I fit it in so that the triangular point of my cube fits up in the bottom parts of those other cubes. All right. Before I fly it into place, I want to change its colors. Okay, So I'm going to click off to the side, and I'm going to pick another color. So I'm going to click on the top, click the bucket. My next color maybe will be purple. And it should change it to purple. I don't know why it's not doing that. Let's try that again. I'm going to change it to purple. There we go. I'm going to click on the left side, make it a super light purple. That's called a tint. And I'm going to change the other side to the darker purple, or we call it a shade. Okay, so now I have my cube purple. I'm going to make sure I'm set up on that arrow tool, and then I'm going to select around that purple cube. Now that it's surrounded by those blue outlines, 
it'll all stay together when I fly it up into place. And like I showed you, you want to make sure that triangle point fits into the one right above it. So here I go with my control D again. I'm going to control D that cube. I'm going to go ahead and fly that one into place. It's just that simple. You're just using the basic functions of the keyboard in Google Slides. We've used some of them already when we were creating our student IDs. And there we go. And that's how you would do the second row. And that's how you would do the third row, the fourth row, until you're all fully complete. Now, like I said before, don't worry if you've got cubes that are hanging off the side of the slide because those are not going to appear when you present your slide or when you go ahead and print it. So I'm going to do the third row. I'm going to do it like I did before with the red one. I'm going to control D that cube and I'm going to fly it down here out of the way because I want to change its colors. Let me click off on the side. Let me click on the top of the cube. Go to my bucket fill, change its color. Maybe I want to go to blue. Left side is going to be light blue. Right side is going to be dark blue. There we go. Once I've got all my colors selected, I'm going to use that arrow key. There we go. Select around that box. And now I'm going to use either my mouse. This works a lot easier with a mouse, by the way. So if you have a, a mouse available, make sure you plug it in. If you don't have a mouse, well, just be careful moving things around. Don't hesitate to use your undo and redo. And the arrow keys on your keyboard, that's also super helpful. When you're all done, well, then you can feel free to add in as much clip art or just as you like. And of course, when you're all done, you can go ahead and hit submit. I hope you enjoy this little lesson on how to create this 3D illusion. It's called the 3D Staircase using the cube pattern and your Google Slides tools. I wish you all a great, wonderful day. I'll see you back here again, same time, same place. Adios, Avita Sain, Sayonara, Arriva Dirchi, Ciao, Ma Salama, Jamatene, Slanagat, Abjo, Nakvandis, and peace.